All right, so welcome, welcome everybody. <clears throat> Let's begin. So find your comfortable seat, whatever that looks like, feels like. If you haven't moved yet today, maybe do just a little bit of cat and cow or circling your torso, maybe doing some neck rolls. It's the opportunity of knowing that when we shift from our focus on the outside to the focus inside, is that we have to adjust, right? We have to set the stage for that. Start to settle yourself in your own body. Let your seat get nice and heavy. And then as you are settling in, let yourself just progressively squeeze your toes, squeeze your feet, and then release. And try and squeeze the lower legs like you're just tensing through the body and then release. And squeeze the thighs and release. Squeeze up into your glutes, into your low belly, release. And squeeze a little higher up, drawing the navel back towards the spine, squeeze the back, release. And feel the rib cage draw back, try and squeeze that upper back, squeeze your shoulder blades and release. And squeeze your hands like fists and release. And try and squeeze into your forearms, release. And squeeze up into your biceps, the upper arms. And release and shrug the shoulders up towards your ears and squeeze. And release. And then try and actually squeeze back into the neck gently. Don't get crazy, but squeeze. And release. And squeeze gently through your jaw. Scrunch the eyes, scrunch the face. And release. Let the jaw feel like it has a little heaviness to it. The tongue can gently float towards the top of the mouth. The eyes become soft, forehead broad. And just notice as the breath flows in, and notice as the breath flows out that that feeling of softening just continues. The breath flows in easy. And exhaling, you allow that softening to continue from the outside, wherever there is still that feeling of holding. Each exhale is an invitation to soften. And as you're breathing, if you'd like to follow the breath in through the nostrils and let it come all the way up to the top of the head and then move down the spine, through the forehead, through the throat, through the center of the heart, down through the navel, down through the pelvis, down to the root. Then exhale all the way up from the root, through the pelvis, through the navel, through the heart, through the throat, all the way up to that third eye, and then exhale all the way out. You move through that quickly with the breath, breathing in, letting it hit that point all the way up at the crown, forehead, throat, heart, navel, pelvis, root. Then all the way from the root, back up through the pelvis, navel, heart, throat, third eye, out through the nostrils. So just as you're breathing, allowing the breath and the mind to pass over those energy centers from the top of the head all the way down to the base of the spine. And if you know the colors of the chakras, you can include that. And then all the way back up and out. So as the breath flows in, it's like you are just connecting to each of those centers, like turning on a light switch. The breath pass over. And exhaling, allowing the breath to flow up and out. Remembering that meditation is not so much about having something to do, but it's bringing awareness to what typically the mind is not paying attention to. Let the breath continue to flow easy and just pass through those energy centers. To 
just noticing that they're there. Even imagine it like wind moving through windmills or those little wind spinners. As the breath passes through, it creates this movement. Each of those centers brightens just a little bit. And then when your next exhale completes itself, release that visualization and give yourself the opportunity here to allow to arise within or to place in your mind, either one, sankalpa. So a sankalpa is a desire from the deep place of the heart or it's an intention that is connected deeply to the heart that you wish to place your energy behind. So maybe it is a very specific thing for you today. Maybe it's just a feeling. Maybe it's just a word. But to allow whatever that is to come into your mind, maybe it rises up from within. Maybe you already have something on your mind that you wish to implant. The sankalpa is once you have named it or given it form, is that each breath you take, you allow that to be an offering to that sankalpa. May it aid that in coming into being. It's a promise that we make to ourselves. I will put my energy behind this. Not just a little bit, but wholeheartedly. So whatever comes up in this moment, hold it. Now let that be in the back of the mind, bring your attention back to the sensation of the breath. And bring your inner awareness to that space between the eyebrows, not just on the surface of the forehead, but set back into the center of the head. And you're repeating the sound of OM. Internally, you may repeat it externally as well if you choose. But as you are breathing, you're repeating the sound of old. However it appears, it may be the long sound of OM that just rolls continuously into the next sound of OM. or it may be a shorter repetition, doesn't matter. Just keep repeating the sound of OM with each breath. The OM and your breath are one and the same.
it's important to allow whatever arises within to just arise. Your attention is on the repetition of OM, but whatever arises within that, just let it be. Once your next exhale completes itself, release the sound of OM and just let the attention ride on the breath in and out. Like the breath as it flows in and as it ebbs out. It's like the waves of the ocean. And your awareness is just moving with that flow in and out. Imagine that you are truly, as the breath moves, that you are in the ocean adrift. In every direction you look, there's just water, water and sky. And so you find yourself not only carried by the water, but swimming. I need to swim. Do you pick a direction and you swim? And you're really not sure where you're going, you're just swimming. You're looking for something solid and you're looking for land. You have no idea if this direction is where land is just feels that this is where you're being called, so you swim. And you keep swimming. And you notice the water around you, the buoyancy of it, the movement of it. You know that if you need to stop and take, take a break, you can you float for a moment or two. But to get where you're going, you have to swim. So you continue to move arms, legs, steady your breath and swim.
the day progresses and the sun begins to set and you're still swimming towards that horizon. You really don't know when and if you'll find land. So all you can do is swim. You notice the tiredness, the ache and the muscles. It's hard to keep the breath steady. In moments you wanna give up. There's that feeling, that calling that says, keep going. So you keep swimming. Your mind says, I can't possibly keep going. And your heart says, keep going. You can. And so you drop from that space of the mind into the heart and you swim. And the sky is getting darker and the stars start to emerge and you're still just endless water and sky. Keep swimming. always stop and float to get where you're going. You need to swim. The sky is getting even darker, but now you can see just on the edge of the horizon, a dark shadow land. You feel a moment where you start to get very excited. You start breathing quickly. Your swimming starts to become a little erratic because you're trying to move faster, steady your breath. Remember that the ocean is holding you. You don't have to rush, you'll get where you're going, just swim. And those moments, remembered moments when you thought you couldn't do it. The voice of the heart rises up, yes, you can. You swim. And now there's that feeling of euphoria of knowing the end is in sight. Belief in yourself grows with every breath, I can do it. And eventually, as you're swimming, your feet touch the bottom. And you're able to stand and feel that ocean all around you gently flowing in and out. Support that was always there. As you crawl or walk your way onto the shore, Sand is still very warm from the sun. You let yourself lay on your back, your belly, however you want. You feel that warmth to seep in, you feel the ache in the muscles. You feel your breath long and deep. You feel that embrace, the ocean and the sky. In your mind, there's no longer that thought of I can or I can't. There's simply I am. You've arrived. I am. Feel with each breath that repetition, I am. Maybe hold the image of the ocean and the sky. I am.
continue to repeat the mantra, I am, as you let go of the images. So it's as though you are speaking out into that endless sky, I am, and echoing back to you is I am. You're speaking directly to the space of your heart, I am. And it repeats back to you with that warmth of the sun, I am. Like an embrace. From the inside to the outside, there is that sound, I am. As your next exhale completes itself, release the mantra and continue to repeat itself infinitely. And remember again your sankalpa. Whatever you began with, bring it back to your mind. And just feel with your attention that it holds this energy of your breath, your awareness. You feel it becoming alive. And then release the holding of that idea, that intention. And bring the awareness back to the breath itself, flowing in and flowing out. Coming back to the breath, flowing up and down the spine, if you'd like, again, to imagine those energy centers the breath passes through. And with your awareness, you trace the edges of your skin, that outer boundary of the physical body. And you feel the heaviness of your seat, the solidness of your bones, the muscle. You feel the breath as it moves in and out from this vessel, through this vessel. For one more moment, you feel that embrace, the inner embrace. I am. And gently draw the hands together in front of your heart. You can rub the palms, wiggle the toes if you'd like. And rub your hands fast, make a little bit of heat. And then place those palms either cupped over the eyes or maybe the ears, maybe the top of your head, anywhere that you wish to just absorb that energy back in.
And sliding the hands to the heart if they're not already there. Drop the chin, moving the mind in the direction of that heart space, the inner embrace. And slide your thumbs to the space between the eyebrows. Namaste. Thank you guys. So that was a little mini ad-libbed yoga <laughs> nidra <laughs> seated. Normally it would go longer, but hopefully that gave you a feeling of something. <laughs> Let me know how that went if you'd like. Otherwise, please enjoy your day. Enjoy your week until I see you again. Thank you, Veronica.